Now, let's get back with our group here in Cordova that is studying salmon. I'd like to introduce Ken Hodges, a fisheries biologist on the Cordova Ranger District of the Chugach National Forest. Hi, Ken. Thank you for having us here. Um, we're here at the, the creek at Fleming Spit, and uh, the students here are going to talk about uh, the salmon life cycle and uh, why the wetlands are important around here. So uh, this first picture here, uh, that looks like the, the eggs in the gravel, is that right? They're laid in the gravel so, so they are hidden from predators. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else happens down there while these, uh, these eggs are in the gravel? They get fertilized. Uh-huh, they're fertilized. And um, what happens next? They turn into elven. Elvens, huh? Yep. And uh, what's an elven? <laughs> it, they're like fry, but they are underneath the gravel and they have an egg, sa yolk sa egg sack so they don't have to hunt. What do you call the, uh, the fish after they come up out of the gravel? Fry. Yeah, it looks like coho salmon. What, what's, uh, how can you tell a coho salmon? Because of their marks here mm -hmm. on their sides. Once they, they come out of here, then um, what do these uh, fish need? Food. Yeah. Food. Food. Uh -huh. Insects. Uh huh. Insect larvae. Mm hmm. Uh, what else do they need besides food? Dissolved oxygen and shelter. Uh, yep. Shelter, yeah, that's right. What do you have for your next picture here? Smolt. Smolt, now what does the smolt do? They live in the estuaries between where the salt water and and fresh water mix. Mm hmm. They need dissolved oxygen and food like insects. Mm hmm. And um, what type of water is, the, is the, uh, found in the estuary? Salty and uh, fresh. Fresh water mix. Okay, fresh, yeah. Got any more pictures there? Yeah. yeah. The adult. Oh, uh huh. How long do these fish live in the ocean? You learn? A couple years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can vary. They can live anywhere from two to five years. And uh, then what happens? They spawn. Come up to where they were hatched and they spawn. Yeah, they come right back up to these streams and uh, this is the area where they spawn. Now, by maybe some of the folks don't know what spawning is, but that's basically the Females digging in the gravel and uh, laying the eggs. The male fertilizes them and then they cover up the eggs so uh, the predators won't uh, eat the eggs. And what happens after that? They die. Yep, that's right. <laughs> yeah, salmon, uh, after they uh, are born, go out to the ocean and return, uh, that's it. They die. <laughs> and. Uh, their salmon carcasses uh, provide fertilizer for the rest of the aquatic ecosystem and the wetland ecosystem. So that's it, I guess. Wow, salmon are amazing. Thank you, students and Ken. I can see why both freshwater wetlands and estuaries are necessary for salmon to survive. 